Now let us learn about the next phylum that is phylum ash helminthes or it is called as nematoda. They are usually called as round worms. Why are they called as round worms? Because they have a circular, they appear circular in cross section. So they are called as round worms. Now about the level of organization, they have organ system level of organization. That means the organs are organized into organ system in which each system performs a specialized physiological function. And symmetry, they are bilaterally symmetrical. That means their body can be divided into two equal halves by a single plane passing through the center of the axis, by a central axis. And in this figure, we can see a lower, lower eye worm which is seen within the eyes. You can see this, okay? So examples are filarial worm, then lower, lower hook worm, ascaris, that is a round worm. All these comes under the phylum ash helminthes, that is round worms. And the number of germ layers, they are triploblastic. That is, we have an ectoderm, the mesoderm and the endoderm. And the coelom, they have a false coelom. That means they are pseudo -coelomid. They have a false coelom over here. So that's why they are called as pseudo -coelomid. You can see the pseudo -coelom over here, which is present between the uh, body wall and the gut wall, in which the mesoderm is seen in the form of pouches. Okay. And next is habit and habitat. They are aquatic or they can be terrestrial. So they can be seen both on water and also on land. And they can be either free living or parasitic both in plants and animals. We can see a parasitic form which is seen inside the intestine of humans. Now about the digestive system. It is complete. So from here the complete digestive system starts. That means they have two openings. The mouth and the anus for ingestion and ejection. And the tubular alimentary canal is well developed with a muscular pharynx. A pharynx is present over here. Okay, the pharynx is present over here, which is muscular in nature. So they have a bit more organized digestive system, which is a tubular in structure. And the respiratory system is again absent. Circulatory system is also absent. Even though, though they are having an organ system level of organization, the respiratory system and the circulatory system is absent, whereas the digestive system is even more organized. The reproduction, they are dioecious. Dioecious means the sexes are separate. That means they have male and female. Se sex organs are separate. That is male and female are separate. And sexual reproduction takes place. No asexual forms. And um, internal fertilization takes place. That is inside the female body. And development can be either direct or indirect. If they are having a larval stage, they are called as indirect. And if they lack a larval stage, they are called as direct. And unique feature. The body is circular in outline. That is, they are circular in cross-section. And they are syncytial. That is, multinucleate epidermis is present in the case of phylum ashelminthes or it is seen in round worms. So, they are syncytial and they have a very thick cuticle. This is a cuticle which is seen just below the epidermis and it is very thick. And another uh, important feature is an excretory tube to remove body waste through an excretory pore is present. You can see the excretory pore. As I told, it is a complete digestive system. And there is an excretory tube with an excretory pore. And another unique feature is the issue sexual dimorphism. That means they are, can be morphologically differentiated into male and female by the external appearance so females are also longer than the males that means they can be differentiated from the external appearance and that is the property called as sexual dimorphism examples are the ascaris or the this is a round worm then the hook worm which is called as an ankylostoma and the filarial worm which is called as vucheria filarial worm which causes filariasis Okay, so these are the examples of phylum ashelminthes. Now let us comprise all the points of phylum ashelminthes. They have organ system level of organization and their symmetry is bilateral. The germ layers are three, so they are triploblastic. They have a false coelom, so they are called a pseudo -coelomid. And the habit, they are aquatic or terrestrial and they can be either free living or parasitic. The digestive system is complete, that means they have two openings, one for mouth and the other for anus. And the respiratory and circulatory system is absent. The re reproduction is dioecious. 
that is sexes are separate into male and female and sexual reproduction and fertilization is internal and development can be either direct or indirect and unique feature is they have the epidermis with multinuclear that is sensual conditions present they have a thick cuticle and excretory tube to remove the excretory uh, waste products through an excretory pore and sexual dimorphism is present okay and examples are ascaris uh, hookworm or ankylostoma or filarial worm or butcheria so that's about phylum ashramenthus thank you